guys, Miss Waki here. Today we're going to be drawing this. And I'm going to teach you how to do that in pencil. You will need an A4 piece of paper. Let's go. Alright, so here's what we need. This is your photocopied image. This is your A4 paper. You need at least two pencils, hopefully. I've got a 4B and a 6B here. Smaller B means you are using a lighter pencil and a higher B pencil would be darker. So if you have a look at the image, we're going to use the lighter pencil for the outline and lighter parts and the darker B pencil for the darker part of the image. You also got to sharpen up. Please keep your pencils sharp at all time. Uh, these are your smudging tools. So you've got the good old cotton earbud and this is going to make wonders when you are smudging. Also an eraser. Alright, so stick your photocopied image like this onto a window. So do, do this during the day. Put your other piece of paper over the top. I've got another sticky tape right here. And if you look closely, you can see through the image. So what we're going to do is just trace the outline. Don't shade the whole thing. We're just going to see what we can see here. And use your lighter B pencil. So I've got my 4B pencil here. I'm going to lightly trace. Don't go too heavy handed here. Just do as much as you can of what you can see and trace the image. Okay, so here's where we're going to start shading. Make sure your paper's on something flatter so you can have something to lean on and always look at the image that you are looking at as reference. So do not get rid of this. Please make sure you look at it carefully. So you've got the two pencils and I'm going to start by using the 4B pencil to do some of the lighter shading. This is where you can use your smudging tools. So once you've done a bit of shading already, you can use this smudging tool to smooth in the surface slightly to make it a softer texture. Also, use the darker B pencil for the darker areas of the skull. So I'm going to use the 6B for this section. And again with the smudging tool. Doesn't matter too much if you go over the edge because we are cutting the image out, but it is a good idea to keep your paper neat. 
Also, I'm right-handed, so I'm starting on the left side of the skull because I would otherwise smudge it if I started on this side. So think about where you'd like to start. You can, of course, rotate your image Okay, soon I'm going to speed up this process, but I'll just show you the basic technique. Try and go with the shape of the skull as well. Since it is a round surface, you'd like to draw along the shape of where it's meant to be. So if you do lines going this way, it's going to look a little bit more realistic. All right, I'm going to speed up this process, but keep in mind when you are going to do the darker section, make it darker by using a darker B pencil or, sorry, this one, 6B pencil or darker. Or if you only have one, just make it darker by pressing onto the paper and also keeping your pencil sharp. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. Another tip is, if you look at the original, there are many white bits that are just left white and there are really dark bits. So make sure you're looking, paying attention to the detail and leaving the part that's meant to be white, white on the paper and just shade the part slightly the parts that are grey and the darker parts make it darker with the darker pencil. So let's have a look. That's left white, darker and shaded lighter. So when you approach certain areas like this area, which is not very light, I mean not very dark, little bits of detail, these cracks, make sure your pencil is sharp and make it nice and strong and neat and these areas just blurred so what I would do is go over this it doesn't have to be absolutely exactly perfect but make it look as close as you can to the original the outline make it dark and then just the outside, slightly blurred. Notice how I'm not even making so much mark on the paper. What I do afterwards is to go over it with the smudging tool. And it quite easily blurs. If you think you've overdone some areas, of course, you can use the rubber, the eraser, and try and shade in the shape of the image. So 
So imagine the actual shape of the object and, and do the shading along that surface. Okay. Here's the finished product. This is the drawing that we did and this is the example. Here they are. I hope you got to follow all the steps and had fun. Thanks guys.